here we are, the Dawson Creek Farmer's Market, and this caught my eye over here. You guys have a really cool rustic look, a great name. Tell us a little bit about your product here at the Farmer's Market. Um, essentially, a couple years ago, I thought maybe I'd be able to make a little more money with the cows we own if I could value add a little bit and sell them by the slice. Uh, so I got involved with the Farmer's Market a couple years ago, um, and now I'm here every Saturday, and I just sell natural, local, grass-fed beef by the slice, by the package deal, uh, by the custom cut quarter, half and whole. So it's a big difference than what we're getting in the grocery store. Yeah, so it's raised a little bit different. There's a couple different values put into it. Um, the finishing diet's a big thing. Um, they're just finished on grass. Uh, very low grain intake, or none at all in the summer. Um, so you get a lot of healthier fats in your meat, a lot leaner cut of meat, uh, which a lot of people are looking for nowadays. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's a little bit higher quality. Essentially, we're sold out a lot of the time. Uh, a lot of our stuff works on pre-orders now because a lot of people are very happy with the product and come back more and more often. Uh, we try and satisfy 100% of the people. It's not always possible, but we do our best. What about the Dawson Creek Farmer's Market? Why do you have a booth all the time? What's, what do you enjoy about being here? Uh, it's just a good outlet for me. Uh, we're fairly far in the country, so it's a little bit hard to market our products out there. Uh, it's also a friendly environment. And I'm also the president of the Farmer's Market, so I have to be here every week. I uh, craft work. I love to make craft things. I make all the frames that are in here on the pictures. I cut all the rocks and polish them. A man who likes jewelry, ladies, yes. These are gorgeous stones. Tell me a little bit about them and how you put them together. These stones come from all over North America. I collect them, I cut them, I polish them. Wow, that's how they're so shiny. They look yes. varnished almost. They're all semi-precious. They're unique because of the coloring. You look at them, this is agate, and it comes from Montana. So where do you go to location? Do you order them in? Where? Do you, how do you get your stones? I collect them all. I go and I hunt for them and I look for them and uh, split them. Wow. And once you look at the inside, then you know uh, whether it's worth polishing. These are all antlers. Antlers? Yes, Get deer, out. moose, caribou. Uh, you'll notice how the, uh, the color changes. There's another one that's different color. They're all unique to one another. They're all unique. Everyone is unique in itself. How beautiful. Um, so not only do you do this with the stones, you also do some custom framing. Yeah. Whose artwork is it that you frame? I uh, handle uh, eight different artists. Okay. And these are re reproductions of the original. What is it about the artwork that you enjoy and, and doing the framing? What, what's your passion? I have uh, lived in this country since 1949, and when I first came to Dawson Creek, there were hitching posts and wooden sidewalks. Mm. So I've been here a long time, and I love with the wildlife and the fishing and the hunting. It's just some of the best in the world. It is. It's a beautiful place to live, isn't it? I love all of your work. And tell me, why do you choose to come to the Dawson Creek uh, Farmers Market and take the time to be here? Uh, well, I've been here for so long, <laughs> I know most of the uh, people in the area. It's a nice social event yes. and you can get your art out there. Yeah. It's all about supporting local.